back to Clone Collector Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel, Spider-Man, Epic Hero Series, Web Splashers, Spider-Jet. Uh, but before we look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging. Uh, packaging is this plastic-free packaging. Uh, it is still pretty decent for what it is. You got a nice picture of uh, Spider-Man and the, and the uh, I guess, the, the web jet uh, on the... Uh, you have a Spider-Man, or you do have Epic Hero series, uh, Hasbro. It is this is a, in the Web Splashers line, which means it has a water feature. Another picture of that of the figure in the vehicle, Spider-Man. Uh, on this side, you have uh, stuff that the vehicle can do. Uh, on this side, you have a picture of the figure in the vehicle, picture of the figure in the vehicle, a uh, bunch of legal information, as well as on this side, you have a very nice picture of Spider-Man. Uh, and here is the barcode if you wish to scan this. Uh, I did purchase mine at Amazon, and I do have an affiliate link up if you wish to purchase that. I do get, uh, it does help support my channel and uh, bring you all more reviews. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and see how cool he actually is. Here we have everything out of the package. And uh, first impressions of this set are kind of mixed. Uh, the Spider-Man figure is really good, uh, and it looks pretty nice, but... The actual main draw of the set is the vehicle, and it's really not that good. Uh, the, the detail and the paint is nice on it, but it doesn't, the, the kind of front wing piece doesn't snap on properly, or really at all. Uh, it, it's supposed to snap on with these two clips, and then you stick it in there, but it really just doesn't work it'll kind of stay but it's on an angle and it's really not snapped in that is very unfortunate uh i feel like this uh this vehicle could have been really nice and there's also stress marks and i wasn't even really pushing that hard on this this uh this vehicle just feels very cheaply made uh kind of an afterthought uh it just does not feel like a great vehicle uh, now you might be able to hot glue this if you really love this vehicle but you really shouldn't have to do anything like that. This vehicle is not really that great. Uh, there is, uh, the, the detail on this is pretty nice. It does have a water feature. Uh, let's see if I can pop this. Ah, that, that's, a, that's pretty hard. Um, there is a water feature where if you squeeze this, you can, or if you open this up, you can pour some water into it, and then you squeeze it, and it'll shoot out of this little hole right there. That is kind of fun, but uh, again, it really isn't that great of a vehicle. But uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the figure. Uh, here we have here we have the Spider-Man figure. There were there were some technical difficulties, but we're back. Uh, here is the Spider-Man figure. Now this is actually a pretty nice figure. There's no accessories that go with him besides the vehicle. Uh, but there is a very this figure is very nicely detailed. Uh, he ha does have a little bit more of a squinting eye. There's a very nice spider on the front of this Spider-Man figure. A very nice blue spider on the back. I do believe this is the only way you can get this version of Spider-Man. He does look really good. Uh, Articulation-wise, this guy is pretty. He has a, a ball joint at the head, which can get you up about that far, which is not that bad. Uh, down about that far, not really any tilt, but there is, of course, swivel all the way around. Ball hinge at the shoulder, get you about up to there, which is pretty nice. Can swivel all the way around. There is a ball hinge at the elbow, which can get you about to there. And of course, swivel all the way around. Nothing at the wrist and nothing at the body or like the main chest. Uh, there is a hinge, a, ball, uh, a swivel, a hinge and swivel at the, at the leg. Can get you up about, or get you out about that far. Get you forward about that far. Get you back about that far. There's a ball hinge at the knee, which can get you about that far, and of course can swivel all the way around. So overall, I'd say the Spider-Man figure is actually pretty nice. Um, definitely, definitely looks good. Definitely painted well. Uh, definitely pretty nicely articulated. Same amount of articulation. It does not have a flipping hand, however. It does have two gripping hands. Uh, but let's go ahead and stick this Spider-Man figure on the actual vehicle. Spider-Man on the actual vehicle itself. Again, it is tilted but uh you can kind of get the idea of what the actual figure would look like on the vehicle and he does actually look very nice this thing is uh it's very nice it's very light it's not very heavy it is very uh swooshable you can definitely get some good play value out of this uh 
but the the actual vehicle not even really working properly is definitely definitely a uh, a downfall of this vehicle set. Uh, but for the most part, I'd say the Spider-Man figure looks pretty good. Here we have uh, the web splasher Spider-Man next to regular Spider-Man. Next Spider -Man. to symbiote suit Spider-Man. We have him next to Venom. Here we have him next to Miles Morales. Overall thoughts on this. Uh, this thing is not very good. This is not a good uh, option from Hasbro. This thing is overpriced. Even if it did work, I feel like it should have been $15. Uh, the fact that it doesn't work, uh, now I'm not sure if this is uh, just a problem with mine, or, uh, if, if it's a problem with, uh, or if it's, if it's just a problem with mine, or if it's a problem with everybody else's, uh, this is not a great buy, I'd say, definitely skip this thing, there is a water feature, uh, I didn't show that off, uh, I will probably be returning this to Amazon, um, definitely not worth the money, uh, I'd definitely say stay away from this. The, the figure does look nice, but it's nothing all that special. There are other Spider-Mans in the line. Uh, yeah, I'd say I'd say definitely want to skip this figure or this vehicle set. It doesn't work very well. Uh, the figure, of course, the figure's nice. Doesn't work very well. I'd say this is a definite pass um, for most people. Uh, if it if this is just a problem with mine, I'd say it is a decent vehicle. Uh, it is pretty nice and swooshable. It does feel like it would be playable, but it is it is kind of broken. So uh, that is unfortunate. But uh, I'd still say pass on this thing. This is nothing, uh, nothing special. Uh, definitely feels like a very minimum effort from Hasbro. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.